Hi, Annie. I hope this helps. I was thinking, because you got the, um, the leather puncher thing there. I, I like using it on um, thick cardboard. This one isn't too thick, but, I mean, it does um, help. But um, if you're making a, a book, like I use, um, uh, what do you call it, minute rice boxes because they're thicker. And, you know, I just cut off the one of the sides there and then the top and the bottom. And then it you get like a, a book covering, covering. And then you can use the leather puncher there to, on the middle strip, um, punch holes for your... Um, you know, to bind, you know, signatures in if you wanted to do an art journal, say. You know, so that's just a, an idea, so you already got it, so mine's pretty, um, old and rusted, but. You know, I usually keep it on the, where was it, oh, there was a small one. Oh, well. Um, get a mess going on. Alrighty, so I got little ones, little grommets, as I call them. And for the sake of this, this we're gonna say this is the male side, and then that's the female side. See, I got paper stuck in there. So when you want to use it, you're going to put the ramen on and say it's a top hat. I don't know if I can do the... Uh, that doesn't help. I can't even tell where my... See right there? See how my... Um, there's the, say, the brim of the hat. So you're going to put the brim of the hat down on the male, and I leave it like that, otherwise I make a, a big old mess. So say this is the front of mine, so I want, this, so this is a, say that's the front where I want it to be seen, so I want it underneath, and then you just take it and then you squeeze. And try not to keep your finger anywhere near there and you pinch yourself. See there's the back part of it. And there's the front. So you get the pretty side on that side. So I'll do that one more time. Oop. I got a mess going on. Alrighty. Say that's a top hat. So I'm going to put the top hat down on the male part. So there's our front part. So I'm going to turn it over to here. Just as I did it on the other video, and then I did it backwards. So then we're going to squeeze. And there you go. So with these, you know, you got to make sure you line them up, you know, measure, measure twice, punch once, as they say, but I usually just eyeball it, but <laughs> you don't have to be like me, but I hope that helps, and I think I got it all, yeah, so I mean, it's, it's kind of a little practice, trial and error, you know, so I didn't know what it was when I first saw it, and uh, because I got it in um, tag sale. I just got these ones. But they weren't that great. But then uh, I found the same thing. And then a tin. What was it? I don't know what it was. Oh, peanuts or something. It was like a Christmas tin. And um, it had all the you know pieces all in it. So my aunt used to make her own clothes. So... She'd make those and 
So and then I figured out what it was. I was like, oh, all right. So then I started using them all up. So I don't got that much left. You know, it's only uh, over here. I separated, you know, the colors and all that. So and I use um, I don't go and get all the fancy things there. I just get go over to the um, um, fishing section and all that and then uh, use those because I mean they're half the price and then at the end of the season then some, you know they mark them down and everything so but it's good you know a little storage and all that so then I find when I use them and then I start sticking things in that I don't know why like this is old uh, checker set Ooh. some little jingle bells I don't know where I got this. It must be a scrapbook kit. Yeah, there's a little chick. And that was a mouse. Well, that's cute. <laughs> See, sometimes you gotta go in and check them because you don't know what the heck you got. So, already, I um, hope that helped, Danny. And if you got any more questions, you know, if I can help you out, I, I'll try. Sometimes it's just easier just to see a video on how to do it. You know, instead of bowling through it like I do. But, um, yeah. So I'll leave off for now, and then I'll come back. Bye.